CPT online brackets for Midwest. Because if you don't know, it's happening this weekend. It's the uh, 16th. So, yeah, it's happening Saturday and Sunday. Um, so, uh, I'm in this, of course, but we're going to do every bracket. And I'm going to talk to you about like, who I think will make it out or the strong carrot players and everything. So, El Chicote, No Good Citizen, Squall, Dells on Fire, Shade Prince, Louis Sabo, and Joe Rogan are the notable names that I know. So, like, this is already kind of a kind of an interesting one. Because they're both pretty good players. They both know their way around the game. Squall knows uh, he's pretty good. Like, he's been part of, like, the Rebel Proving Ground stuff for a while. Um, what is it? Lewis, if you didn't know, he's a Geef player from Chicago. And it's not bad of a Geef. Sabo's originally from New York, but moved to Texas, so that's why he's in this. And Joe Mirogan, uh, he's an Akuma player. Bit on the wild side, but oh, wow, not a bad player. Definitely not a bad player. So, like, this side is more stacked than this side. I feel like this side, I'd confidently say, like, Chicote would probably make it. And then it's a determination of, like, who beats who here and what happens there. Not sure what could happen. <laughs> um, so, I probably have Chicote make it out safely. That'd probably be the best bet. Um, I'm not sure what make it out losers coming. I mean, it's kind of free for all, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, second one, second bracket. Yeah, I hate Vegas thing. Hang on. Uh, maybe turn on camis. Um, but yo, what's up, no, up, oh, nest money. Uh, so second one is uh. What is it? Rob TV. Um, the answer, Ramsey, Marine, and DB Gen. So, this is not bad of a bracket, but the crazy thing is, like, the answer and Ramsey have to play each other right away. <laughs> and it's just like, that's already annoying enough. So, it's like you got two good players playing right away. And keep in mind, like, the way they did CBT for, uh, I think for Midwest, I think they did it based on, I think, 2019 points or something like that. I don't know. Unless they try to, like, bring out good players or something like that. I don't know. I don't know how they did it, but they did it like this. But, um, yeah, I could say, like, one of these two can probably pull up an upset. Probably. They're most, they're most likely. Everyone else is kind of the free-for-all. Rob probably can make it out confidently. Um... Yeah, that's, that's. I'm just interested to see who wins this because this could change up depending on who wins this. So I'm really curious. I'm like very, very curious. Third bracket uh, Brutus, Magneto 1080p, Wash Your Hands, Dr. African, CR Maxwell, Joey. Like this? Uh, this is kind of kind of interesting. So you got Brutus and Joey in this bracket along with Dr. African. And it's like, those three feel like they can make it out pretty confidently. But it's like, I don't know. You never know. Because if Doctor and Joey beats their first two opponents, they have to play each other. And Brutus has to deal with either Cody or uh, Karen right here. Because these two are pretty good. So, uh, I'm really curious as to what's going to happen. Because, like, this is definitely... It's going to be kind of interesting pulls. Obviously, I'm focused on my pool. I'm not going to care about anyone else's, but... It's just interesting to see what will happen. I think I have Brutus and maybe Doctor making out. Or Joey. Joey can be up there. So, fourth one is Brian F., uh, Shinku, Lizardman, Kendricks, Tosh, Twist Rivera, Hitman. Um, and... You know, it's kind of interesting. Hitman's uh not too bad of a Bison. Pretty good. Twister of Era is pretty good. Taj not bad. Kendrick is pretty good. Lizardman is pretty good. Shinku is pretty good. Brian is pretty good. Like, this is kind of a an overall. In again, these are all interesting brackets. See how they hit it, put it up. Cause you got cause with brackets you gotta have you kind of gotta have luck with the draw. If you don't have luck with the draw, you kind of oof. Hey, what's up, Young Eight? 
If you don't have luck of the draw in brackets, you kind of screwed over. But this is not bad. I'm curious to see how, like, this side is more hectic than this one. So I'm curious to see how I'll approach it. I don't know why bottom halves are more hectic than the top halves. But I think I have Brian if maybe twisted making it out. I think that's a solid picks. All right. Uh, this is the fifth pool. This is Hawaiian Shirtman, the Lord. We all know him. LES, safe, silver rupee, destructive, and underscore. If you guys don't know who Hawaiian Shirtman, LES, safe, destructive, underscore, silver rupee, if you don't know all of them, you guys must have been living on a rock. Because we all know Hawaiian Shirtman likes to party. LES is a very solid bison. Safe is a very good Urian. Sil silver rupee is not bad of an Ed. Destructive is very good with uh was Zeku and Yurian. And underscore is not bad of a Kami. So it's kinda like uh I don't know. This is a free-for-all. I think this pool is a free-for-all pool. Because it's like LES can do some work, but then Hawaiian Sherman can just party over everyone. But then save him but just play solid. But then destructive can also get in. Underscore same way. I'm just like, oh god. Like, like a Urian? Uh, there's only two Urians. Yeah, there's only two Urians, really. But it's just like parties. It's like crazy because it's like you don't know what's gonna happen. Save is obviously your best bet, but it's like look at his path. If he beats a uh, Chuck Steak, he has to face against another Canadian, and then if he beats that, most likely face destructive. And if he somehow beats that, he has to face underscore, and then he has to contain either Hawaiian Sherman and play a solid game with LES. So it's like, bro, what is about to happen? I don't know what's going to happen in this pool. This pool is free for all. I'm not calling it. Uh, the sec or sixth pool uh, is Magnegro, Davip, GLB, DDM, and Stack Bradford. So, like these four I know. I don't know anyone else in this pool like that. Or, no, did I say one, two, or five? I don't know. The, the, I only know five people in this pool. So I can't say what's gonna happen, but I think Magnegro is the best bet, and probably low key Davip or not GLB. GLB is really solid. He's very good Ryu and, and guy also. You guys may want to keep out for this name. Look out for GLB. Is correct Midwest today? Do you mean is Midwest today? If it if you're asking that, then no. It's this weekend. Uh, so this is seventh pool. Uh, this is Matt Maggier, Denzier, Alpha B, Kevin Malone, Chili, Dual Kevin, uh, and Super Fro. This is this is a weird the way they see this because Kevin Malone, Chili, and Dual Kevin had to play each other like second round. It, it's it's super weird that they put them right there, and then like uh, again, Midwest is a weird thing because you they're not, they weren't sure how to seed it so they kind of feel like they hail married it a bit <laughs> um we got denzir and alpha b two really good players mad gear is obviously good super Fro's good but this bro this right here i can't call because like both of them are very good they're like the really solid players they're all very good players so i'm like uh it's kind of interesting uh how it's gonna work? Like I'm, I can't call it. And then we have my bracket. Not gonna lie, I felt like I got lucky. Like I got really lucky with my bracket because I could have had it full of killers, but all y'all worry about is boy legs and probably no respect. To be honest, maybe someone cooks on my other side, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm only worried about two people. Like that's that's it. <laughs> that's I feel like that's my side. Two people and I'm good. Like I somehow got luck of the draw. Literally. Like I I, I don't know what to say. I literally somehow got luck of the draw. Like I literally have to worry only worry about like Fong and Chun. And maybe you're in for Adam, but uh, it depends on if Adam can uh, understand it's Fong matchup or not. So. I feel like I got a little bit lucky. 
I'm just like, damn. But yeah, CPT Middle S is gonna be quite interesting. Uh, so some of these turn, some of these matches, I actually want to just watch. Like, I want to be in a replay channel or something like that and just watch them. But unfortunately, I can't do that. <laughs> but you know, hopefully, you guys will be able to be excited by this. Obviously, we only have what three more days. Yeah, three more days until uh, it happens. So, more CPT stuff's happening. And you get to cheer on uh, for your favorite Midwest player. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm going to win. That's it. <laughs> Enough said. Free.